Stop saying you have imposter syndrome. There's nothing wrong with you. You have fear. Imposter syndrome equals fear. You have to name these emotions and name what you're feeling and name what's going on instead of trying to bypass them with ridiculous language. Get close to the emotion. Your brain is literally designed to process emotions, but we have to accurately name them and feel them to actually move past the emotion and use it as fuel. Your imposter syndrome is now fear. Fear of, you define. Fear of judgment, fear of failure, something. It's fear of something. Fear of not being good enough. It's not imposter syndrome. It's just fear. When we actually give our brain a chance to connect with that emotion and process it, we can have better coping mechanisms, we become more confident, we reduce stress levels, we become more self-aware. So even in itself, even just by naming, right? Name it to tame it. So you can process the emotion, become aware, examine it, hold it out here and look at it and understand, well, what is going on here with this, with this emotion? If you need help doing this on your journey, I am here to support you. I help a lot of people work through imposter syndrome, aka fear, and help them come back home to the confidence that is already inside of them.